a special marine warning for the following inner waters from Point Mugger to San Mateo Point. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? This is Lord Dude 599 with another video for today. I'm going to be doing something that I haven't done in a while. You guessed it. It's going to be a radio reviews of Midland WR300. So as you see, this one used to belong to uh, Brandon Crocker. used to belong to him but then he sold it to me and obviously it's here so what's the first thing we're going to talk about I'm going to talk about pretty much what it is Midland WR300 is basically a weather radio with AM FM capabilities obviously it says same digital weather all hazards alert radio with AM FM so again it's basically like a WR100 except with AM FM as you all know the classic WR100 doesn't have a doesn't have AM FM and then compared to a WR100 right there let me actually raise this up a little bit There we go, get a comparison of the two. So you see Midland WR100 right here, Midland WR300 right here. So you see the WR100 is a, basically takes a vertical form, whereas the 300 is a horizontal form. Basically they perform the exact same functions, except once again, this one does AM FM, this one doesn't. Anyways, I'm gonna set that, to, set that off to the side. We're gonna talk about some of the some of the fun little things this radio has. So what we're gonna talk about is the obviously the how you turn it on, first of all. As you can see right now it's running on four AA batteries, which I will go ahead and do that. You see right there four AA batteries or the obvious uh, DC jack as you can see right here it's got that it's got the PC just like on the on the 100 except it doesn't label it as a PC which would be this one it's got your external alert which you could put in a, a strobe light or anything this one is pretty interesting. This one has earphones. Yeah, this one's got a headphone jack where you can basically put in a headphone jack on here. And then your external antenna external antenna jack. Or obviously, you know what it does. Right here you have your alarm off and on switch. That turns it on. Obviously I'm not going to bother with that. And then this is right here is your actual switch. You see I just turned it on. And it also acts as a volume, volume dial. Next we're going to talk about is the menu. So to access the menu on the WR300, just push menu. And there you have it. You have different choices of, uh, or different options, what you want to set up to. Like for example, alert mode, have to set it have set on voice because every ES fan knows that every weather radio we get is has to be put on voice. Unless if you wanna unless if you want siren, which will it'll activate 
the siren continuously until you hit the snooze button. Or, as always, just have it set to voice. The one thing that I find kind of odd is... This one is actually version 5, obviously. This one doesn't have a thing for display. Unless if I'm mistaken and somewhere else. Well, we'll just leave it at that. Weather channel. This is obviously where you could set your uh, homes, your homes, home station. As you can see, obviously mine is set to channel 7. You could choose anywhere between... Ooh, might be picking up a little bit of WWF 67. And channel 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Whoops. County codes, it's set to all. Defeat Siren, basically what it allows you to uh, choose what alerts the, you want the radio to go off for. Add alerts, you can basically add custom, customizable alerts. Siren test, just like the WR100, it basically sounds like this. Yep. Siren level, you could have it set to siren level at low or high. I'm going to cover the speaker so that way it's not like increasingly loud. And then I always have it set to low. Set up date, obviously setting up the date, set up time, you already know what that is. Set up alarm, don't really need to do that. Backlight, you can have it to where you could have it set to normal where it'll brighten the light for a couple seconds and then shut off like that. Or you could have it set to continuous which will constantly have these lights on. For me, I just have it set to normal so that way I can actually conserve the the LED lights. And yeah. And we're back to that. Another function that I like about this is, as I said earlier, unlike the WR100, and don't get me wrong, WR100 is an awesome radio. This one, on the other hand, has a AM FM. So to get to AM FM, you just push the radio button, which is right here. Put it like that. Let's set that to 89.7, which is KNCA. That's what, uh, that's what FM is. And then AM... I'm gonna put it. Whoops. Oh, right here. I forgot to mention that these act as your uh, memory channels or as your tune. So what we're gonna do is uh, Third chapter or fourth chapter. put it to I actually. Go. I could go now for another hour. 1670 is KQMS. I don't know where it comes from, but the young guys who work for me say, "How do you do it?" So to set a so to set a memory, you, I believe you push the menu button, yeah, and have it set to whatever, and like that. Whoops. There we go. So again, have it set to memory one, and there you go. The only the only downside with the WR three hundred is it's not really it's not it's not really that good for DXing. I don't know, just for some for some reason it's I don't know it doesn't have that DXing capability. So I'll actually give an example. Go back to go right there. Seventeen hundred. You basically get a bleed through of a sixteen seventy, and then five forty. So it's not that good at DXing. I mean, if you have, if you don't have a very powerful uh, 
FM station or AM, then you, it might work out as a DXing radio. But because of that, it it doesn't really uh, it doesn't really work that well. Although for weather, it's actually pretty decent for DXing on weather. But for me, I personally would rather see it more as AM FM than weather. But I mean, that's okay, anyways. So my final thoughts on this uh, radio is, it's pretty cool. I mean, I like it. I like the I like the design. I like the I like all the different functions that it that it has. Again, as I said earlier, if only it didn't have that uh, issue with the bleed through of every strong station on AM and FM, it probably would be a great DXing radio. And obviously, unlike WR100, this one takes one more AA battery. Again, as I showed earlier, it takes one more AA battery. But other than that, it's okay. It's a great radio. Would I recommend it? Sure, because it's it's really nice. Now we'll do the comparison sake one more time, so that way get a better idea what they look like let's put these to the side oh actually I know what I forgot I forgot to measure the antenna do with the version 2 make sure that is set up okay so I have extended the antennas out on the both the WR100 and the WR300 so let me raise up the thing a little bit higher. There we go. And now we'll just, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and just pan it this way. And as you'll note, this one is the WR100 antenna and this one is the WR300 antenna. As you can see, the WR300 antenna is actually taller than even the version 2 WR100 antenna. Again, there's the 100 and there's the 300. Do that one last time. And there you have it. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the version 2 away because I'm not using it. No, it's not for sale either, so don't even ask. But. WR300 is a great, great radio, great desktop weather radio with AM FM. Let's see, how would I rate it? I would probably give this a, probably a 4.2 out of 5. Again, mainly because of that, uh, that issue that it has with the DXing. But, once again, it's actually a great radio. Oh, and before I end, end the video... Just like uh, with the with all the Midland radios, take off one battery and then you just put it on there, and it'll do a lamp test. There we go, and yeah, it's a version five. And let me set the time and date again. So you basically set the time. And that's how you set the date. Let me just put this cover back. There we go. And there you have it. This has been a review of the Midland WR300. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. <clears throat> if you did, leave a like. Be sure to comment about it. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future videos and other content like this. And 
<clears throat> don't forget to hit the notification bell you know by hitting the notification bell that allows you to be notified of when I upload or when I have uploaded new videos so yeah don't forget to hit the notification bell after you have subscribed and I guess that's about it this is NorCal Dude 599 and I will see you guys next time.